Hello and welcome to the Reef Talk Extra channel. Now, over my left hand shoulder is the Fluval Evo 13.5, uh, in which I'm going to be keeping almost exclusively LPS corals, maybe with a couple of uh, soft corals as well. The light I've gone for is the uh, AI, ha, AI Prime 16 HD, uh, and I need to get that set up. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna test the PAR to make sure my corals aren't getting too much light. I'm gonna be aiming for between seven, 75 and 150 PAR, uh, and I'll make sure that's a, hopefully an even spread across the entirety of the tank. Point of making this video is that I can show you then my settings that I'm using, really popular light of course, and you can roughly apply that to any tank of the same kind of size from, I don't know, 10 to 25 gallons by bumping your, your percentages up and down a tiny bit. So without further ado, let's get to the tank. So I've got my laptop set up over here, uh, which I'll put on screen and a semi parmeter in a rather swanky 3D printed bracket. Uh, now these aren't 100% accurate, so ballpark figure is all I'm looking for. My clownfish are already like, what the hell's going on? So just out of interest, in fact, you know what, I'm going to turn the flow off. Right above the, right beneath the surface, it is 205 par. All right, which is nice and low, so that's good news. What does that mean? This is, this part of the, the scape is actually really quite high. So let's have a look at that, 150, 140, 138. Call that 138, so that's good. What about this mini island at the back? How's that? Ooh, 140, 141, perfect. Okay, nice and even then in that case. What about at the sand bed down here on the corner of the scape? This is relatively close to the front. Ah, oh, this is perfect, <laughs> 88. Okie dokie, and where my corals are, the only two corals in the tank, uh, there's a favia and a trumpet coral, and again, 89, 90. That is pretty much perfect, you know. Alrighty, what about dead center right on the sand bed? Ah, oh, look at that, 74. Do you know what? I've nailed this, <laughs> okay. Right, far right hand side should go up a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, 115, it should go up a little bit because of course light reflects off the glass. 117, middle of this, probably a little bit higher. 100, no, 117, same. 114, and right at the back finally. Should be a little bit higher, 130, 134, 125, all right, fine, okay. What about very far corner? As far down as I can go. Right at the back, should be a bit darker. 83, perfect, man, this is awesome. Right, let's see how much par my urchin is getting. <laughs> the front of the glass near the sound bed. 150, wicked. All right, there you go. So come across to this side as well. 130, roughly, cool. What about at the back? 130 again, nice and smooth. And there we go. Well, actually, there's a one last spot down here which is shaded in theory. Uh, that's not a very accurate reading, I don't think. 36. Probably not an accurate reading, to be honest. Anyway, let's pull this out and go back to the camera. So the first thing to say about those results is that they are absolutely spot on. I hadn't really planned that. I'd set it to around what I thought would be right, but I wouldn't have ever thought it would be exactly perfect. Um, so that's really good news. Uh, and that is with the light settings. I'll put my settings on screen, but that is with the Hydra, with the Prime, sorry, set at 40% on most channels and white is set at 8% with the reds and uh, greens on zero. Uh, that's just the way I like it to look to my eye and it dims down and goes blue in the evening and uh, starts in the morning with uh, a bit of blue as well for an hour or two of a, of a ramp up. I should also say that this is using the standard AI mounting bracket uh, at its highest possible point. So the light is around 10 or 11 inches off the water surface. And actually given that the light is only at 40%, it's a really impressive output. And if you could bump that up a little bit higher, then you could be able to keep easily SPS in a tank like that. Although personally, SPS in a very small tank, I think would be too challenging. So more to the point, I would say that this light is really good for a much, much bigger tank size as BRS has shown in all of their tests. Now par is only one piece of the puzzle and doesn't paint the whole picture, but it's probably the best rough guide to aim for. And in 
terms of spectrum, I'm never too bothered about getting the perfect spectrum that, uh, that corals will absolutely love 100%. And I take the view that you can probably squeeze out another 5% of, of growth if you get the spectrum absolutely spot on. But as far as I'm concerned, the most important thing is that it looks good for my eye. Uh, and that's why I've set this up with 40% on the blue channels and 8% on the whites. As far as I'm concerned then, that light is set up to perfection, so I'm never gonna to touch these sliders again, either the color or the intensity. If you've got any questions or if I've missed anything, let me know in the comments section below. And I'm gonna be doing more updates on the Fluval Evo 13.5 right here on the Reef Talk Extra channel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so, and I'll keep you in the loop. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next time. And until then, happy reefing.